Change UN subsidy rating to 4%. Huh. Ally under attack by Nepal. That's an interesting uh, nation to declare a war. But I don't see the point. And of course their economy is going to be uh, briefly uh, <sighs> stabilized. And I just got a damn mail on my phone, but I'm going to take a look at it after I'm done recording eventually. March 16th, 2021. And really not much to do unless the American Union does something rather stupid to declare war on somebody else. Cuba, they have yet to make any landings. And I'm surprised they're not attacking Canada, though. Manifest Destiny scenario, idea, I uh, believe. Doesn't seem likely. And oh, right, I forgot about the Independent Federation. I completely forgot about them. And their economy is bankrupt. <laughs> It's going to be really uh, interesting to see Hawaii, all of Hawaii under Australian control. Well, Alaska, I ho I guess, will be under control by the... Yeah, by, Can by Canada. But who else are they at war with? Russia. Wait. Wait a minute. If Canada gets a large portion of Alaska up here, then Russia will get most of the Aleutian Islands. Huh. Well, if Canada had not declared war, I guess we could see... Canada once again since the not since the days of the old Russian Empire back in the what was it 18th 19th century completely forgot I think it was a little, I think it was a little, I think I was wrong there but uh, that's not gonna happen as for China no allies and a war on multiple fronts Taiwan hasn't made any landings. There's really not much to say about that. Oh yeah, I forgot about the what's going on with India. And they're still in the UN. They're at war with Afghanistan, Bang Bangladesh. China is no surprise. Pakistan, of course, and Japan. I still don't understand Japan being declared war from India, because that is still the first time I've ever seen India declare war in Japan. Not to mention, what enemies have they made? China and Russia? China, I get, I guess, somewhat. Russia, well... That kind of, I guess that's a bit questionable whether or not if Japan did have the uh, Cossus belly to declare war on Russia, I guess. I don't know. And looks like these former North Korean forces are being uh, surrounded. South Koreans by the South, and Russians by the North. Hmm. Eh. Nothing much to say about that. Europe. Bosnia. And, oh, the Italians have uh, kicked the French all the way back to the maximum extent of territory they got. How long would that will last? Who knows? Considering, yeah, for some reason France is allied with the UK. Even though I'm pretty sure this would have been the opportunity for the U for the British to actually declare war on France, but I don't know. If France does fall, we're gonna see a a large Italian Empire born of what was France. If that if that, if that was the case. Wait, a minute, are they also allied with? No, they're not. They're not allied with Germany, so I don't see why Germany has not declared war on France yet. It's a bit odd. It's a bit of an odd. Let alone Luxembourg. So that's really one thing to think about. So, uh, Gibraltar. Uh, let's see. Uh, Sri Lanka, I'd like to propose. Da 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 da. Huh. 98 million dollars for seven days. Military goods? Wait. Wait a minute. Who are they at war with? And what's their military goods? Only that much? Uh... <sighs> hmm. Well, 
What else, though? They are allied with Ecuador. Couldn't they have asked somebody else? And it seems like this is a bit a bit of a high price for military goods. Well, not really high, but it seems a little... I don't know. Well, I guess just to be safe, I will accept. I guess. And hopefully, we won't run out of uh, supplies so fast. Nothing much to do about the power demand, since it's going to be continuously increased over time. I'll build another uranium mine here. Metal ore, on the other hand, we have plenty. Plenty of areas to start mining. So, build one here and build another one here. Coal on the main Mexican homeland. Uh, looks like there's really not much good deposits other than in the Texas territory. So I'll build that. Timber, there's plenty. There's plenty everywhere. I'll just build one each of these uh, areas. Waterworks, that's still in construction. Agriculture, we don't have that much. Build here, the, that's not the case. What about here? Fill that up. Any in Texas? None. Alright, uh, best place to build one? Okay, uh, what about near the border? 92 tons, 89 tons, 92, 88, 88, and 88. Well, I guess the 92 tons will be here. There are other areas, but those probably another time. Diplomatic exchange and such, and that's about it. What's going on in Cuba, though? They have plenty of military goods. Consumer is slight issue. I guess I'll have to give about, um, let's say, 12 days, not continuous, and, wait, nah, they don't have that much, um, oh boy, here comes the U.S. Air Force, okay, uh, <laughs> should be interesting to see. I have to do the same about 10 day, 12 days as well. For industrial goods, consumer, military, we're fine on that. It looks like the Cubans are fine with that as well. I hope. Petrol. Well, we have a lot. Um, weekly for about... Reduce that to, I think, just six weeks for, uh, I think, 10,000 or 1,000. Uh, yeah, I'll go up to 10,000. And they don't have the money to pay, but I'll give it a shot. But I'll give them a shot. And here comes the American Union. Causes belly has increased. I think last time it was 70-something percent, but I could be wrong. Nothing much to do for now, though. Um, anywhere else? There's really not much to talk about. So, Australia. No good relations, so that's out. East Timor. Yeah, relations are not that good. Indonesia. Maybe a little improvement, I guess, for trade, mostly. Cambodia is attacking Thailand. Huh. Huh. And also Vietnam as well. Well, that's an inter interesting scenario going down, going on down there. The Philippines ask ask for some trade. There's really a lot going on. Israel is gonna be destroyed. Uh, looks like the fr front war on against France is a bit of a seesaw effect going on. The French pushing back, the Italians counterattacking, and counterattack, counterattack, counterattack. Belarus is in a mess. Uh, oh, 
Sweden has grown in size, and Norway looks like it's... They're, they're in a bit of a trouble right now. Finland? Bit of a sorry state. Kazakhstan, however, looks like they failed to kick the Russians out fully again. The capital's a bit too close to the front lines. And so on and so forth. Pause. Uh, wait. Eh. Eh, whatever. I might as well just wait until the start of March 31st. And then I might stop recording eventually. Anyway. Fortresses are actually not going to be done until... For about 45 days. Alright. Nothing else going on. Still a little worried about this front, though, since the American Union pushed much deeper than on this side. But oh well. Alright. Pause, and I guess uh, that's about it. So, thank you for watching, and hope you enjoyed this, even if it's a little boring with not much action going on. But, hey, who knows if maybe next time we might go to war with the American Union. But, either way, hope you enjoyed this, and hope to see you again in the next episode.